What were the events that led up to the night? Well, first there was the Indian American War, um, the Bay of Pigs, and then this guy Josh started some little house night at a random place. Hi, I'm Josh Billings. Uh, started Focus 10 years ago, and uh, yeah, this is our 10 year anniversary. Thank you guys for joining us for our 10 year anniversary. We appreciate it. All the love and support, messages, emails, people coming out supporting on a weekly basis. We appreciate it. We started as a club with turntables only and two little 15 inch sub speakers and subwoofers and the power would cut out and it was really ghetto and it was back in the day and we were just starting out and it's crazy. Yeah, we've, we've grown in, by leaps and bounds to where we're at now. When we first started out, we were a very deep house club We've gone through phases of you know going playing harder, faster. It's kind of funny because right now the average BPM is 120 BPM here at the club. So it's come full circle. We're back to it's ironic that 10 years later we're kind of back where we started. You know we started off playing really deep house, and now we're kind of back to that sound. So it's it's, it's uh, it feels good and it feels right. Delic fantasies by Marley cigarettes Beautiful body sweat Smoky silhouettes She dancing on me But to come up out of that dress Ten years Surprisingly it hasn't evolved a ton But it has in certain ways Like the sound system is ridiculous now I mean I'm sure you can probably hear it Um the level of talent we've been able to get here just from the reputation over the years has been pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, a lot of it has stayed the same. You know, the music that we've been doing 10 years ago is cool now, which is the real difference from 10 years ago. 10 years ago was just weird and nobody liked this. But now, you know, it's great. But yeah, that's kind of the only main difference that I've noticed. Favorite color? I guess like a maroon, reddish maroon? I don't know, I don't know if that's a good answer. Favorite car? It should be what I'm driving, but it's not. Um, man, I don't know, that's a weird, I've no, I, should have, I should have an easy answer to this. As a club, you have to evolve. You have to kind of somewhat go with the times, but you have to be able to develop your own style and, you know, make, make it your own. And that's, luckily we've been able to do that. We're 10 years of doing it. It's, we've kind of carved our niche and we all have our, our different sounds, but they all, you know, come together and that's all you can really ask for. Yeah, it's about the music, but it's about creating a home and a community for 
these people to come hang out and meet other people that are like-minded and, and just have a good time and not really have to worry about Hollywood pretentiousness or anything like that, you know, being a part of some special scenes. People can just kind of do their thing here and everybody winds up being friends, which is one of the most awesome things to watch. Tonight our guest is Cascade and uh, he's our surprise guest for the 10 year anniversary and we had Cascade many, many moons ago when he was uh, on the cusp of getting big and getting larger. So another way that we're coming full circle is, you know, having him play tonight, it's kind of like, you know, bringing it all back and bringing it all together. Amazing vibes tonight. 10 years is a long time. These guys were booking me when I was living in San Francisco. Uh, surviving on uh, cold cereal. A lot of love for these guys. They've been bringing quality house music to Southern California here in Orange County for a decade. Incredible. Congratulations. Love you guys. Thanks. <laughs>